Hi students, we are going to draw a pyramid, a hexagonal pyramid suspended on a string. With a hexagonal pyramid, where it is suspended on a string which is tied, tied to a corner of base. Tied to a corner of base. So that the axis is parallel to V. The axis makes some inclination to HP. We don't know. You don't know how much it is. It's not given. A hexagonal pyramid, 25 mm side, 60 mm axis, 25 mm side, 60 mm axis is suspended on a string, which is tied to a corner of its base, so that the axis is parallel to V. Axis is parallel to V. Axis makes some inclination to HP. It is not given. Okay. It's a very interesting question. You can have. The other pyramids, even prisms, cylinder, etc., in similar positions. In similar position, because cylinder and cone do not have corner of base, but it will be tied at some other point. Where the given point will be located. But this is the question: Material, prism, or cylinder, or pyramid, or cover, cone, or cover. Okay. Interesting position. I give simple position. Look. 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 X Y line yeah. B, C, D, E, F, O, P. A dash, B dash. C dash, D dash, E dash, F dash, P dash, O dash. This is the symbol position. What is the symbol position? The symbol position is with the apex on HP and axis perpendicular to HP. Apex on HP and axis perpendicular to HP. Hexagonal pyramid na thala udhu nur diriya. Endi naan naan parangi ibundi ko mansleo. Plan Adim virtue that is why the slanted edges are dotted. Slanted edges in dotted right where check another Kana Badila Tarna. Plan virtue, elevation virtue. Now, where is the center of gravity of a pyramid? It is one fourth from the base along the axis. One fourth from the base along the axis. Here the axis is 60 mm. So, where is the uh, center of gravity? Measure 15 mm. This is totally 60. This is its center. This is its center. G dash. Center of gravity is G dash from the base. One for 15 mm. When an object is suspended on a string, there is a condition to be satisfied. What is it? The point of suspension and the center of gravity when connected must be vertical. The point of suspension and center of gravity when connected must be vertical. Agreed? So what does it mean? I am going to suspend it at A. A that means a dash g dash must become vertical. Agreed? So, what I do is I choose a dash a1 dash choose g1 dash then measure these two angles and draw This side is equal to this side, this side is equal to this side, this side is equal to 
this side and sub mark the subsequent points since i am not following correct dimensions there will be slight differences in the shape a1 dash b1 dash c1 dash d1 dash e1 dash f1 dash p1 dash o1 dash how is the pyramid now the pyramid is suspended about a so that ag is vertical ag is vertical what you have to do now draw a plan to suit this how do you do that draw vertical projectors down draw horizontal projectors o1 a1 b1 c1 d1 e1 f1 p1 connect The pyramid is suspended about A with axis parallel to BP. A1, B1, C1, D1, E1, F1 and O1, P1. It's a plan. This is redrawing method. The disadvantage of this redrawing method is when you redraw this, there is high probability that you make an error. It's very difficult to redraw. You have to measure this angle, etc. and redraw this. But its auxiliary projection is very simple. Agreed? If you have understood this, we will go for the auxiliary projection. Before that, I can mark the dimensions if you want. This is 25, this is 60, and this is how much? 20, uh, 15. Okay, now if you go for auxiliary projection. We will not redraw it. Instead, what will you do? This is xy. This is xy. I extend a1, g1 and draw an x2, y2. I mean x1, y1. x1, y1 perpendicular to this. Because when it is suspended, when it is suspended, the line connecting center of gravity to the point of suspension will be perpendicular to HP, isn't it? So this is the new HP so that it is perpendicular to the extension of A1G1. Then draw a new plan, draw projectors through all points in the elevation, perpendicular to x one y one Take the distances, A is this much below, O is the same distance, D is the same distance. So this is, uh, where is A? This is A1, this is, uh, sorry, this is A1, this is B1, this is P1, this is O1, then B, B, this is B1, this is C1, this is E1, this is F1, isn't it? That's all. A, B, C, D, E, F, O, P. Connect. When you look from here, the full base will be visible.
a1 b1 c1 d1 e1 f1 o1 p1 plan x y elevation if you are not comfortable what you do you have to do you have to rotate x1 y1 you have to rotate x1 y1 so that x1 y1 become horizontal and plan will become below x y and elevation become above x y agree so this is the point to be kept in mind whenever an object is suspended about a string the point of suspension and its center of gravity will lie on a vertical line in the case of a prism or a cylinder the center of gravity is at the center in the case of a pyramid the center of gravity is one fourth from the base that's all you need to remember agree so this is again the category axis parallel to vp and inclined to hp what is the inclination of the axis to hp inclination of the axis to hp is obtained by extending it and measuring the angle with x1 y1 extending it wherever they meet measure the angle between this axis and x1 y1 you can be asked to find out what is the inclination of the axis to hp you can find out that extend o1 p1 extend the x1 y1 they meet at that point and measure that angle that's inclination of the axis to hp okay Thank you.